Connected Canadians, connecting older adults with technology, training, and support. My name is Adam, and my background is um, computer security for the federal government. Click up here. I had been looking for some volunteer opportunities. Uh, I have quite a variety of technical experience. Now what you can do is you can watch your email. There are sectors of the community that, of course, don't have access to this kind of education. Uh, and it's unusual to be able to see accessible and tailored education to certain vulnerable sectors or other sectors of the community. So being able to provide that kind of service and be involved, I think, is really beneficial. We'll start from the very beginning, just so you have an idea of how we're going. Okay, fine. I participated in a Connected Canadians workshop here at Briere Village. Uh, helped some of the residences with their uh, their devices. Now, uh, <laughs> yeah. So you click on that home button there. Oh. The, the, the one My day job involves very high-level, sort of enterprise-style networking problems. Nothing like what we do here today. It'll follow the instructions here, right? The issues that the people who brought their devices here are facing are individual challenges, right? Things that affect their quality of life. It's not a business decision. Um, so this really does have a more sort of impact on on the people who are holding the devices, right? Okay, when I come in, I still use MI, MI46. And I was really surprised at how fundamental some of the questions were. It really demonstrates sort of a cultural distance uh, that we could help with. Okay, so app. Uh, it was recovering iPad accounts, uh, installing apps, and getting Wi-Fi connections working. And that was that was it. But something I heard from them a lot was, you know, they just didn't grow up with it. They didn't learn how to use it. It doesn't come naturally. So being able to slowly walk through not only the individual problem, but how to use the devices so that they can help themselves in the future was something that I tried to focus on, and they seemed to really appreciate it. See, I did it. <laughs> I just wanted to give back. I have all of this experience, all of these, these skills that I've developed, uh, and I can use them professionally, but I'd like to be able to take some of my time and give back to the community a little bit.